about this. Now, Jody Vance uh, recently published an article outlining how she'd been stalked and harassed on social media. It was really frightening. Uh, you know, uh, the guy was harassing her. Uh, he was arrested and charged. Here's what Jody had to say. Uh, because of her experience, Ms. Van said she wants to promote public discussion as journalists, particularly those who are women or people of color, are being hit with in, an intensifying wave of hate. Jody said she hopes other journalists will do what she initially didn't, which is catalog every interaction, report them to the, or their employers and local police. In her case, the criminal justice system is working, she said, but it takes far too long to win justice for her complaints. Uh, have you ever run into anything about that? What are your thoughts about what Jody went through? I mean, I, I read um, a little bit of her story, and it sounds horrible. It's, it sounds awful. Obviously, that I feel like that would, went to the furthest level. That's the last thing you want to see um, happen. I feel, I mean, we know what social media is like. You know what it's like. People um, can say whatever they want. They can get away with it. There's zero accountability. They don't have to post a picture. They don't have to post their name. Um, I think what happened to her was a whole other level. I've I mean, I've had some terrible comments. I've been harassed on social media. Um, it's tough to, like she said, it, it's tough to actually um, hold these people accountable. It's tough to actually do anything to these people. So, I mean, what she experienced is, you see it everywhere, and I, I don't know how you fix it. I don't know how you fix it mm -hmm. at all. I mean, when you're in the public eye like that, um, unfortunately it comes with the territory and it, it shouldn't have to. And I feel like she, for whatever reason, right, she was just one of the unlucky ones and, and a guy chose to go after her. Um, but I just, I don't know how you stop it. I don't know how you, how you, how you get to these people. I'm, I'm glad that she got the police involved and did all of that. Right. Like you, I guess that's the only way you can do it. But like she said, I'm sure the process takes way much longer than, than it should. But you know, it, it's just, it, it's kind of sad, but it's kind of like a, accountability because I know that there's, you know, basically these internet trolls who, who, you know, go with fictitious names in some cases and they just, and and they troll people and they say stuff that, that hurts, you know, that hurts other people and they're hiding behind their computer and, and, you know, like they don't have to, you know, whatever to, to do this in pub to people's faces in public. And, and it's like, uh, I mean, you're not going to stop it by shaming people like that. But it, it's important to have awareness and, and like, uh, uh, you know, anytime you got a chance to stop it, anytime you got a chance to report it, anytime you got a chance to, you know, uh, we just need to be better, right? Just We just need to be better. And uh, yeah, I, yeah, I think with hers, it, it sounded like a consistent, like a one guy that was picking on her was consistently basically a stalker, which maybe in some ways, I'm not sure, maybe it's easier to sort of put a case against that person. But when you have one off, on Twitter or Instagram, these people who just come out of the woodwork and just, you know, tweet you once and, and tear a strip off of you and say whatever the heck. If those people, I don't know how you how you stop those people. Like you block them and that's the end of it, right? But you right. hope that's the end of it. But the things that people say, um, it's just it's brutal. And I guess you know, I just mm -hmm. it's true. They don't I don't think they think you're a real person. I think they think you're a face on TV and they just I don't know. I'm just thinking of a few comments I had recently, but it's, um, yeah, you block them and, and hopefully, you, you know, kind of forget about it and move on. But it's tough sometimes, for sure. You do have to develop a thick skin. And uh, yep. you know what? It's like uh, you can't take it personally, right? And, and that's the most important thing is like you can't take this stuff personally because if you do, it'll, it'll drive you nuts. And, and it's like, a, mm -hmm. you know, consider the source, realize that whoever's doing this is a sick person, you know, like certainly unawoken, that's for sure. And, and, uh, and that uh, you just can't take this stuff personally.